Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if all of your desktop icons appear to be the same on your Windows device. So this isn't really any different for Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10 users, but I thought I'd make a brief tutorial about it today because I think it's something that could definitely be annoying. So we're going to just jump right into it and we're going to start by right clicking on the start button and then we're going to left click on run from this menu so now that we have this run window open we're going to type in regedit then we're going to hit OK if you receive a user account control window select yes so now we can either expand the entries on the left side by double clicking on the folder or by clicking the little arrow so we're going to go underneath H key current user, double click on it. Then we're going to go underneath software and then Microsoft. Make it a little bit wider for you guys. And then we're going to go to Windows right here near the bottom. And then we're going to go underneath current version, which should be right underneath Windows. So now we're going to go to Explore right here. Click on the little arrow next to that. Now you want to left click on the little arrow next to File EXTS right here. So you want to expand that window. And now you want to scroll down until you get to .lnk which should be the extension for most of you guys. You might have a different extension depending on what is appearing to be the same but for most of you guys should be .lnk so scroll down there Oop, looks like I went a little bit too far right here and then I'm going to expand that again and there should be something that says user choice at the bottom right here so there should be three different subfolders that populate here you want to right click on the user choice folder and then left click delete and then you'll be prompted if you are sure you want to delete this key and all of its sub keys click yes. Once you're done doing that you can close out of the registry editor. All of your icons should be good. If they're not, restart your computer. Like I said before, depending on what a file extension you're having this issue with, it might be a little bit different, but I'm assuming for most of you guys the .lnk file association should be the one that's creating this issue. So I do hope this tutorial worked for you guys and helped you out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.